Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I want to show you these two computers that they are exactly the same but one on the left I have High Sierra and on the right I have Big Sur. So how can one has a newer operating system? We have a MacBook Air 11 inches early 2014. So the max Mac OS that you can have on this MacBook Air 11 inches early 2014 is Big Sur. You cannot go to Monterey. Actually, if you have a 2015, then you can go to Monterey. And then if you want to jump to Ventura, you're going to have to buy a much newer computer. The question is, how can we turn this high Sierra into Big Sur? Let me show you right now. So let's get rid of this one. We don't need it anymore. I like to give this example because it's very revealing. On an iPhone, if you go to settings and you look for general software update, Apple is always going to give you the latest iOS possible to be installed on this device. And right now I'm running version 12.1. So it's not giving me 13 or 14, it's giving me 15, which is the latest one. And this is always going to be true. Even if I have iOS 10 here, right? It's always going to jump to the latest one that you can install. My question to Apple is why is that not true on a MacBook? When I click software update, I should see here Mac OS Big Sur and I'm not seeing it. Actually, if you go here, this is the App Store, you will see Mac OS Ventura. And let's say you try to install it. Look what you're going to get. We could not complete your purchase. This version of Mac OS 13.3.1 cannot be installed on this computer. Let me search for Big Sur, right? I'm directly searching for Mac OS Big Sur and Apple is not giving me Big Sur here. This is crazy, guys. So I don't know. If you're the owner of a MacBook Air 11 inches early 2014 and you're running Mac OS High Sierra, it's not your fault. It's Apple's fault for not telling you that you have choices and you can upgrade your Mac OS to a much better system, which is Big Sur. So how can we install Big Sur on this computer? Open your favorite browser and you're going to search uh, Mac OS compatibility. The first result is maxsales.com. So click on that one. Here you're going to find out what is the maximum Mac OS that you can install on your computer. So first of all, you need to identify your computer, MacBook Air. So click on MacBook Air. And here you can see based on the model that you have, what is the maximum Mac OS that you can install. There are two ways to find the model of your computer. The first one is you can say that this is a MacBook Air 11 inch early 2014, but each MacBook computer has an identifier. How can you find the identifier? You're going to go to about this Mac and system report. Here you can find the model identifier. Okay, so this is the most exact way to find out what model is your Mac. In my case, it's MacBook Air 6.1. So we're going to look here on the left, MacBook Air 6.1, right? You can see here by the year also, right? Early 2020. This here is the 6.1 because the 6.2 is the 13 inch. Ours is an 11 inch early 2014, 6.1. So this is our computer. You can see that it's compatible with Sierra, which high Sierra, which we have. We can upgrade to Mojave. We can upgrade to Catalina and we can upgrade to Big Sur. That will be a third Mac OS upgrade, which is huge, guys. So if you're using high Sierra, you can jump three times to Big Sur. We cannot install Monterey because it's not compatible. Now, a lot of people ask me, I have a 2017 MacBook Air. What Mac OS should I install? So there's no 17. Chances are yours is going to be stuck at Monterey. So Ventura can be installed on MacBook Airs 2018 and up. If you have 2017 or 16, which is not here, you can only go to Monterey. Now that we know that we can install Big Sur on our MacBook Air 6.1, we need to find it. And it's really simple. You're going to type on Google, download Mac OS Big Sur. The good thing is that the first result is going to be the Apple Store. So click on that. And you can see the website automatically pop up the App Store. And here is giving me the option to download this Mac OS. And this is free, guys. So you just click here, download. This might take a while. This computer, I don't have any information. But if you have files and software, I recommend you to do a time machine backup, a full backup. It's going to take three hours and 12 minutes. This is depending on your internet connection. And I'm going to come back once it's done. All right, guys. So after a couple of hours of downloading the software and another couple hours of installing the software, we finally got Mac OS Big Sur on our Mac Air 11 inches early 2014. A lot of people ask me if I install Big Sur, my computer is going to be slower. The answer is no, because Apple approved this upgrade for your computer. So it should be fine. 
Remember that the main reason that Apple stopped doing upgrades for computers is hardware. So if your MacBook Air is natively capable of upgrading to macOS Big Sur or Monterey or Ventura, that means that the hardware support that upgrade. So don't be afraid of upgrading. Don't think that the computer is going to be slower, all right? If anything, it's going to be faster because it's a new operating system, new stuff that you're incorporating into your laptop. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.